Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to view and edit releases in advanced roadmap. So we'll see here in detail. If you want to learn Jira from scratch, please watch my Jira playlist from description tab. When we talk about releases in advanced roadmap, this is essentially functions as large target deadlines for sections or versions of our work. In the rest of Jira, these are the preferred as fixed versions. We can set a release to happen on set date or after all the issues assigned to it are completed. The former is every two weeks. This is recommended in teams that release with a regular cadence since any issues that aren't completed can be bounced to the next release. For teams that have irregular releases, the next advanced roadmap can give us the projected release date when we define a release based on the completed issues. So we'll see here how to update and view issue releases in advanced roadmap. For watching the sections, we can see here the release section here and here we have all the releases available. Even we can create our releases according to our need. So if we uh, we can add it the release according to again requirement. Now let's say I want to create the release. So if I want to create the release simply to just define the name. So I'm just giving R 1.0 and the description about the release. Even we can define the start date and end date. So as early as possible, even fixed date or related to the previous release date. Then fixed date and here we can also define the deeds accordingly if we are giving just fixed date then this should keep all the completed release define the deeds and then create now we can see r1.0 has been created successfully if i want to view in the roadmap we can see we don't have any issues assigned here so here if we want, we can create theme, feature, epic, and story. Usually, I'm just creating story. So, inside the story, I'm just giving this is test for release. So, this detail will be added successfully into this release. So, this is how we can create the issue inside the release as well. Once I will review it and see if the selected changes, this will be applied into our roadmap sections. Again, if I will go back to R1.0, we have on track unreleased detail. So generally, this date is not at started. So let me start it from today. Then we can see this release had been added successfully and just review it and see if the selected. Now this is released. Again, when I will go back to the sections, I can see this details are available. So release of now I selected all this filter and then we have some data available. So this is how we can add releases according to our requirement. Whenever we need for cross project detail releases, we can create it from here. So here we have to define the release name. So R 1.1 is my cross project release and here we have to select the multiple projects whichever we are looking for and under that once we'll click on add release this release will be added successfully click on create and we have created cross project releases to group multiple releases across different jira projects so this is helpful for adding or for clubbing multiple release versions into one bigger group so that we can track it easily even we have some sections on the configurations point of view we we can see some details related to scheduling now after that we, we can also see off track on track and filter apply released unreleased version so these all details are available if we want if we have and number of releases are available we can just apply the filter and see it accordingly even we can edit remove and add to cross project release even after creating any specific release so that's all from releases so let's recap we started with the releases we've gone through the 
release details and created release for single project as well as cross project releases so that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching